Good day, fellow investors. Boris here asks, a lot of experts expect huge stock crash in a few months. What is my opinion on this? Well, first, if someone is predicting a stock market crash, he is certainly no expert because an expert would tell you that these things are impossible to predict. However, we can look at the market, we can look at the risk and reward of investing in the current market, which is the key to understanding what kind of returns you can get and what can go wrong. And if you understand that, you can see how this market fits you. Not being scared about crashes, but just understanding how investing works. I think that is the most valuable thing I can give you. And the first thing you see if you look at the market is that it has been now two years of zero. So uh, there was this peak, then a bear market, but we are still in some kind of limbo. So no crashes, but stagnant for two years. And it is likely it will go up and down and fluctuate for some said 10 years, like Ray Dalio, given the situation, it is unlikely for great returns, which is again a risk because investing is also about opportunity costs. Having your money value erode due to inflation is not a great thing either. And what's going on is 2020 was an over exuberant situation for markets. So everyone was thinking stocks can only go up. Interest rates were at zero. That has changed. And that is the first way on the market. So if you look at the five year treasuries, you can see that people were getting nothing. And now we are already at 4%, which makes treasuries attractive in a sense, even if inflation is at 6% and this still loses money. But when you compare the treasuries now at 4% with the dividend yield of the S&P 500 of 1.6%, then you say, okay, treasuries look interesting. On top of this comparison, everyone estimated that earnings will just keep on increasing, but that then 2022 came and earnings actually went down. So we already have an earnings recession that puts pressure on the market. And now what happens if again, we have again exuberant expectations, earnings are going to just grow forever. But what happens if this happens? That is something you have to think like, okay, earnings can go back to 2015, 16, 19 levels in a recession, perhaps even lower, and then we have an issue. But this is what if investing, what if earnings explode, what if earnings crash, that's not something I want to do, that is just speculation. We can see what is the likely risk and reward if we look at the price earnings ratio. And if we look at the price earnings ratio, it's now uh, 22, and if you divide 100 with 22, you get an earnings yield of 4.5%. Historical earnings growth is 2%, which gives you a return of 6.55%. Depending on inflation, that's a real return of 2 to 4%. Nothing bad, but you won't get rich on it. What is the risk? Again, the P ratio is the risk. Because if you look at history, the P ratio now is at very high historical levels. The mean is much, much lower. So here, and then in crisis, you can also see much lower P ratios. And if we return to that, that's a 70% crash for the market. It can happen for now. If we look at 10 year average P ratios, the cyclically adjusted P ratio, you can see how high it is compared to historical results. But the key is that with the P ratio around 30, your returns will be likely real returns 2% as we already shown. So nothing spectacular. And that is then the risk and reward. Plus, I just looked at the first 50 stocks of the S&P 500 and all of these stocks Apple and Microsoft, Nvidia, Berkshire, Tesla, Facebook are extremely overvalued and very, very risky. 
So the risk is there, definitely stocks can crash at any time, impossible to predict, but the better definition or the better way of saying is risks are there and the actual likely rewards are meh for lack of better words. So that is what you get if you invest now in the market. So the solution is first is strategy. If the market crashes 40%, you need to buy more if you're invested in the market. That's the only way to get good long-term returns. So set it and forget it, dollar cost average over time. And that's one strategy. The market is way too expensive, so you can focus on individual businesses. I have shared with you one that I consider that I watch, Amsterdam Commodities. The dividend yield is 5.6%, the P ratio is 12, not 22. The dividend yield is 5, not 1.6. So this is investing in businesses. And therefore, I think that investing is doing well no matter what the market does, not worrying about interest rates, P ratios, recessions. What you care about is the business. So if you can not be a speculator, then you don't care about crashes. You just accumulate wealth over time, which is something we'll discuss also in the next video. Because investing is about owning, margin of safety, not predicting crashes. I can tell you what is my situation on my research platform with my model portfolio. I look at valuations, businesses that I want to own, not will there be a crash. So I have to be invested, but I also need to want some cash on the side. So currently I'm 77 percent invested in my model portfolio on my research platform. If opportunities arise, I will buy them with the cash and the monthly additions. And that's the strategy I have. Can I predict the future? No, but I can have a strategy. I hope you have one too. Thanks for watching. Check my research platform. Check the Amsterdam Commodities video and check my next video. Thanks for watching.